my great and beautiful people of God. Welcome to my channel. This is Blessing Aguina TV, a great channel full of God's words, prayers, prophecy, word of knowledge. Here we have the all of the Bible and audio playlist. Subscribe, touch the bell, stay with us. You're welcome. God bless you. I will look at, the God, uh, at God's word today. God's word is all we need in life. God's word is our solution, it's our medicine, it's our everything. Look at Deuteronomy 6, 6 to 7. It says, Those commandments that I give you today are to be on your hearts. Impress them on your children. Talk about them when you sit at home and when you walk along the road. When you lie down and when you get up. Hallelujah. So the commandments I've given to you today. He said, impress them on your heart. God's word is our, is our commandment today. In the Bible, God, in the Old Testament, God gave them a, a Ten Commandments. Today, we are no more than the law, we are under grace. Hallelujah. And we, and we have God's word as our, as, our, as our commandment today for us to follow. Hallelujah. And the greatest of all is love. Praise God. Hallelujah. So, God is saying that this commandment He has given you is to, to be impressed in your heart. Do you have God's word in your heart? Do you have God's commandments in your heart? God's commandments are all in the Bible. If you want to know it, praise God. Do you have God's word? Impress it, be impressed in your heart. Hallelujah. He said, he said and impress them on your children. Sit your children down and teach them the word of God. Very important. Today, some people have children. They don't tell them anything at home. They don't preach God's word to them at home. They don't teach them God's word. He said this commandment is to be impressed in your children. Go ahead and teach your children God's word. They know the Bible. Teach them God's word. Talk about them when you sit at home and when you walk along the road. Talk about this God's commandment, God's word. In this light, let me talk about let me use God's word for the commandments. Hallelujah. Because right, right now we're no more than the Ten Commandments as such under the law. But God's word is, is everything, everything in God's word is our commandment. What we should do and not do is our commandment. Let me put in this light for this purpose of this video. Praise God. For example, it says flee fornication is a commandment. Praise God. So in the purpose of this video, I just put God's word generally as our commandment. Impress them on your children. Praise God. They talk about this when you sit down at home and when you walk along the road. When you lie down, when you get up, let God's word be in your mouth. Let it be your mouth, let it be your heart. Let it tell your children about it. So we we'll raise a generation of light and not once at the ones that are wayward. May God, may God help us in Jesus' name. Amen. May God help our children in Jesus' name. Amen. May God help our generation in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. I first to share this word of God with you. God's word is light. Hallelujah. And now I want to pray for you generally. As, as you hear this word of God, I thank God for you. I will pray for you generally. Father God, in Jesus' name, I thank you for this ones I've watched this video and I will still watch it later. God, I bless them in Jesus' name. Evil is far from them in the name of Jesus Christ. They will not be ashamed. They will not be disgraced. God, our, their children will not be wayward. But their children will have God's word hidden in their hearts. And they will practice it in Jesus' name. Let them say, so God will practice your word, oh God. Their name will not be on their paper for, for evil doing in Jesus' name. That name of the generation. The name of that generation will not be on the paper, on the news for evil doing. God's word will be in their life. God's will be in their hearts. It will be impressed on their children. In Jesus' name, I pray for the one that watching me right now. God bless them. Lift them up. Help them. Guide them. And then meet resources that will boost their life for good. In Jesus' name. And then meet helpers, people that will boost their life for good. In Jesus' name. God, remove difficulty from them. If there be anything right now that will be wrong with you that you've been trying to solve you that are watching me that is for years i pray be overturned for your good testimony will come to you all things are turning around for your good in jesus name those things have been so difficult for you causing problems for you and now be turned around to favor you in jesus name you hear good news from the east and from the west you hear good news from the north and from the south you hear good news in the name of jesus christ Evil will not be for you. But only good things shall be your portion. For the Bible says, God's thought of concerning us is thought, uh, thought out of good, not of evil. To bring God's one is better end. That's your portion. 
In Jesus' mighty name, amen. God bless you richly. Thank you for watching. Share the video. Let many people be blessed. Stay with us here for more of God's word, of a prophecy, word of knowledge. Stay with us here. Subscribe, to the bell. Go to the Bible teaching church. If you are not born again yet, say a prayer of salvation after me. Say, Lord Jesus, today I come to you. Be my Lord, be my Savior. I believe that for me. You were buried. On the third day was again from the dead. Lord Jesus, I'm now yours. God in heaven, thank you for sending your son to die for me. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. If that prayer was said by you, you are now born again. Start with the Bible Tree Church. Stay with us here. Subscribe. Touch the bell. Share the video. I'll see you next time. Bye. God bless you.